welcome back guys in this lecture we are going to uh, write the back end code for the both registration as well as the login components so already we have designed this registration and login screens so this is the registration and this is the login so if you want to write the back end first you have to open the roots folder so before writing in the roots we have to do one more thing which is called as the creating user model because we have to store the details of the users in the mongodb so that mongodb will send the data with the help of models only so there's a reason first i'm going to create the user model here user.js uh let's copy the uh, required fields here copy the const mongoose mongoose now i'm going to write const user schema is equal to mongoose dot schema so already we are taking four input fields from the user so that uh, they are uh, they are also we are going to put here that are the only things we need not to put another yeah the first one is uh, name name of the user and it is type string and uh, require true the next one is email same type string require true so for all the properties we are going to use the same conditions name email password same type string require true so apart from these three things we are going to add one more thing which is called as the is admin property so here we do not have any separate uh, users and admins modules so a user cannot be a admin or he can be a admin so there's a reason we are going to use the same users module for the admin so every time we, when the user is logged in we are going to check one property whether the user is admin or not so if the user is admin we are going to provide the access of admin panel for that for that user so if he is not admin we are going to hide the admin panel for that user so that's the reason we are going to give one property is admin so it is type boolean it may be true or false uh type boolean it, it is not required control s and initially it is false because uh, we have to give the access from the database to any user if you want to get an admin so there's a reason i will write default false that's it name email password and is admin these are necessary and uh, here i want to provide the time stamps time stamps so i hope you understand why i have write, written is admin property so to provide the admin panel access we have to check this condition whether the logged in user is admin or not time stamps true that's it we have created the model now i am going to create the root for the users operations users root dot js so the first one we are going to write is router property express router now i am going to write router dot post register first we have to write the register async and here i am going to write uh, first we are going to receive the values const user is equal to request dot body or uh, not this we have to write first we have to import model uh, where is it yeah we have to create the schema already we have created let me create the model const user model equal to mongoose dot model the first one is collection name users and the second one is schema user schema that's it and i will write module dot exports is equal to user model yeah now i am going to import the user model from uh models folder sorry 
const user equal to uh, require dot dot slash model slash user yeah now i am going to write const user is equal to new user and the schema is equal to request dot body that's it now i am going to write try catch block try catch here you have to write const user is equal to or you can write const result also so here i am going to write const new user because we are storing new user and after storing we are going to get the details here const user is equal to await user dot save that's it if we have any errors we are going to send the response as error 404 and if it is success we are going to send response dot send user registered successfully successfully and response dot error so something went wrong or you can just directly send the error error message yeah that's it and sorry here we have to write new user dot save now you not user dot save and now i'm going to write login router dot post login same const uh, first i'm going to uh, destructure the uh, variables that are coming from the front end const email and password equal to require dot body so here i am here i am not destructuring because we are using the same variables as in the model as well as in the front end so when you are using the same variables you need not to destructure you can directly send the values if you want to destructure also you can uh, destructure so in place of uh, request dot body you need to write uh, name is equal to uh, request dot body dot name and uh, second one is like uh, email is equal to request dot body dot email and password is equal to request dot body dot password so this is also correct or if you don't want to write all these things you just need to keep request dot body so as i said this course is for beginners let me write like these only so name is equal to request dot body dot name email is equal to request dot body dot email and password like this you have to write and for the experienced candidates we just need to write request dot body so let it be like this only here i am destructuring because we are going to write the condition const user equal to user dot we are going to write the condition find one or just write yeah find one and i'm going to write the condition email equal to email and password is equal to password so here you have to write async and uh, here you have to write uh, await that's it so we are checking the both email and uh, password so if these two conditions are uh, matched so the try block will execute copy the statement try catch paste it in the try block and send the user response dot send user to the front end if the login is success else i am going to write sorry already we have written try a catch block we need not write else response dot send uh like what we have to send error message or we can directly write response dot error send the same error and in the try block also first you have to check whether the user is present or not if user if user is present sorry then only you have to send the success message that means response dot send else again here also you need to write response dot error only because if there is no user the login is false that means failed only that's the reason you have to write response dot error message is equal to login failed login failed 
so here you have to write message property yeah message is equal to login fail so we have completed the back end part also and let me export this router module module dot exports is equal to module dot exports equal to router control s and i will import this router module in the uh, server dot js copy this root uh, sorry first of all you have to create const users root equal to uh, roots slash users root here i am going to write app dot use slash api slash users is equal to users root so if the api request is coming with this url it is it will go and check in the users root so that's it guys now i am going to perform the api operation sorry first we have to add this api endpoint in the front end open screens uh, register screen import axios here axios so already we have created user object now i am going to write try cache block first here const result equal to here keep keep it async async function yeah const result is equal to await axios dot post slash api slash users slash register and we are sending the user as our data user object as our data and here i am going to write data and here i'll write clg error control s now let's check go to the register screen open network this is network and here i am writing sci here i am writing sci at the rate gmail.com here i will write 1,2,3,4,5,6 here also I will write 1,2,3,4,5,6 now I will click on the register button the request sent successfully here you can see we got the message user registered successfully now let's open mongodb refresh the page uh, what happened we didn't got the users module users model sorry here we need to refresh yeah here you can see we got the users collection if you click on it we should be able to see the sci yeah here you can see is admin is equal to false name is equal to sci email is equal to sci at the rate gmail.com password is equal to one two three four five six and created it and updated it values so the registration is success let's check with the one more user details uh, i will write satya here also i will write satya and i will keep the password same 123456 click on register here you can see one more time you got the same result now refresh the page in mongodb here you can see i got the second user details now let's go to the login and apply the same thing so first of all import these axios copy it and paste it in the login screen paste it here and copy the api operation also so where is try catch block yeah here it is try catch block and here i am going to write try catch block so try const result is equal to await axios dot post users here we have to write login yeah that's it yeah what is the error const result yeah here we have to keep it async because we are using await keyword async function and yeah, now there is no error now let's see already we have registered with two users satya and sai now i am going to log in with the sai details 
inspect uh, where is network yeah here is network sai at the rate gmail.com and i will write one two three four five six click on login uh, i think we I got an error we got an error so here there is no error in the front end let's check in the node.js console i think in the node.js console also we don't have any errors let's check where the error is const result is equal to api users login go to the users route where is the mistake email request dot body const user user dot find one is success so here we have the mistake user dot find one so in the find one o is capital so i think the i got the mistake from snippet o is capital here yeah now let's try it should work now console and here i'll write sai at the rate gmail dot com and here i'm going to write uh, one two three four five six login network yeah here you can see we got the details from the back end so while sending the details from the back end so please don't send the password because we have to store these data in the local storage so if you store the password in the local storage some other users can also see your password so you should not send the password you should only send the uh, email and the name and the uh, somewhat if you want to use uh, JWT, jwt authentication you need to send the token so here i don't want to use the jwt authentication because as i said this course is for beginners only so just send the details without a password so it's very simple you can simply hide that password and you can send it or if you want to decrypt also you can do that so if you don't know how to delete a property from the object so you can directly send the uh, properties of the required fields so sometimes uh, the object to delete property may not work so that's the reason this is the best practice so i will create like this const uh, temp or you can write your any variable name const temp is equal to so name is equal to uh, user dot name sorry yeah name is equal to user dot name uh, email is equal to user dot email and uh, uh, next one is is admin is admin is equal to same user dot is admin and the last you have to write id underscore id is equal to user dot underscore id and you have to uh, send this temp variable so it will not contain any password so even if you store the user details in the uh, local storage also someone can see also there is no problem uh, now let's go to the network uh, let's refresh the page once yeah now i am going to add sai at the rate gmail dot com and uh, one two three four five six click on login uh, here you can see this time we didn't got any password email is admin name and underscore id so the we have completed the both registration and login process in front end as well as the back end so in the next lecture also we are going to work on this so after getting logged in user we have to update the nav bar and uh, and we also update one more thing after clicking on this login and registration button we have to show the loading icons and success message failure message all those things so in the next lecture we are going to do that thank you